Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, on Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah, love talking about new Transformers. Don't have them in hand, just like to chit chat. So let, uh, sit back and relax and grab your favorite beverage, and let's talk about some new Transformers. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. And it looks like we're getting a new trailer for uh, Core Class Optimus Prime from Shockwave's Lab. This is SL 140. So you get the trailer and container kit for uh, the uh, Optimus Prime from Core Class. Uh, looks like you got a lot of feature too, as well. So that's pretty cool. And you can store the weapons. You know, you got the uh, Core Class weapons over there. So that is pretty awesome. Looks pretty cool. I like it. So there you go. From Shockwave's Lab, we got the new uh, Core Class Optimus Prime trailer, and you got a lot of effect. Ooh, looks pretty neato. And also from Shockwave's Lab, we also have uh, SL-147. We got filler kits and pipe kits for G2 Universe Laser Optimus Prime. So it looks like we got the uh, back, you know, back of his legs uh, filler kits, you know, because they you know, always got waffles. And we got some extension of the uh, pipes, you know, the uh, on the smoke pipes. So it looks pretty cool. I like it. You know, probably I won't get it, but uh, that's pretty cool for it. So there you go. Shockwave's Lab SL-147 uh, filler kits and a pipe kit. <laughs> Lay that pipe, all right? Am I right? Mm. And it looks like we got some new stuff from Fun B Studios. This is, uh, here goes the Mobilizer. So the next product offering from Fun B is going to be the Mobilizer from Season 2, Episode 22 of G1 Series. This is a great design that offers both ways to display in this piece. Uh, the legs and the dish are removable for a uh, handheld mode as well as freestanding mode. It's printed in a beautiful metallic filament and its coloring details are added to relay to really bring back the nostalgia of that episode. Uh, the, handheld, uh, the handheld remote is also included. Uh, the Voyager version has a pegged remote since the figure's hands aren't uh, articulated. It comes in both MP and Voyager scale versions. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you get options. Uh, one is uh, $24.99 for the MP and $22.99 for the Voyager. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So you got to be part of their Patreon and you can download their files and you can print out this stuff. So that's pretty cool. So if you want the immobilizer uh, for Wheeljack and everything, looks pretty neat. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. Fun B Studios is giving us the immobilizer. All right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to third-party legends. And it looks like uh, my favorite company that we never get anything from, Jizza Toys, is giving us noise and graphy. I think those are the two tapes that, you know, the uh, Eagle and stuff that we uh, that were overseas that we never got over here. Uh, but yeah, you can combine them. Uh, the blue one goes and makes the, you know, a big old, you know, head. And then the red part, you know, the, you know, the uh, Eagle or whatever, looks like a pterodactyl, I guess. I don't know. Uh, looks like uh, the body part and everything. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it's funny. I wish we would get some of this stuff, uh, you know. But there you go. Jizza Toys is giving us a noise and graphy. And it looks like Rising Force is finally going to release their Stunticon. So we got some new images from their Dead End. And it looks pretty good. You know, it looks like the, you know, the Magic Square ones, but, you know, it looks like better plastic, you know, uh, not the soft uh, plastic that Magic Square uses. But this doesn't look bad. If I didn't already have the uh, Magic Square one, I may be in on these. Who knows? But yeah, it looks pretty good. So there you go. Rising Force is finally going to release their Stunticons. And I really hope the best for them, man, because that's pretty cool. It's a small little, I think it's like a mom and, or I'm sorry, a husband and wife kind of a thing going on. And uh, the, I really hope that it does well, really well. I may try to, I may check it out. Who knows? But we'll see. So there you go. Rising Force, that is their new dead end. And then also for New Age, I know, shocker, they're getting recolors already out. Uh, so this is for, uh, you know, the RC recolor. This is a uh, New Age H48G Pocahontas. And uh, this, I think this is the Medic, and it looks really good. I love, love some new age stuff, so I'm definitely going to get this. Uh, she comes with a cup. I don't remember the episode uh, where she's feeding, or I guess giving Energon to Cyclonus. I don't remember that one. So, But she comes with that, two guns and uh, two hands. And she looks really good, so I'm excited for that. So there you go, new age H48G Pocahontas. And I'm definitely looking forward to this one, man. This is H48N Ninja Dicky. That is awesome name. Oh my gosh, I love it. But she looks so good. This is their Nightbird. Oh, comes with a nice little uh, lightsaber. I know it's a sword, but lightsaber comes with uh, one of the her thighs. 
and uh, come with two hands. Looks really good. Looks really, really articulated. So I can't wait to get this one. So there you go. This is H48N Ninja Dicky. That is a freaking awesome. Speaking of New Age RC, we got the new boxes for RC and the new uh, Cyclonus. This is the uh, toy version, or the, he's got the Target Master with him. Man, I cannot wait for these two. I love the Cyclonus mold. I already got two of them. I can't wait to get the rest of them. And I'm definitely looking forward to RC. So there you go. New box images for New Age RC and uh, Cyclonus with this target map. Well, all right, folks. That's all we have for uh, Legends news. Let's move on to uh, MP third-party news. And it looks like we're getting some more Junkions. We're actually getting two Junkions. And we're getting a uh, evil Gobot leader, Psykill. So first up is going to be P is, uh, P6J Stoggy. I guess his name. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I love the weapon. I love that melee weapon. It looks really good. Kind of got the uh, bumblebee kind of a head scope looking going on, but it looks pretty cool. So this is Stoggy, and this is the final images, and they should be coming out in uh, late August. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Sanford, like Sanford and Son. That's pretty cool. Uh, this looks nice. I like the spikes on the shoulder. It looks pretty cool. I like the head sculpt. It looks really nice. The only one I have is Retgar. I need to get some of these re, uh, retools and recolors. They look really good. Uh, so I like this one. It looks pretty cool. Both of them look really nice. And then we got Toe Cutter. And like I said, this is the Evil Gobot leader, uh, Psykill. And once again, looks really freaking awesome. I like it. I like the retooling of this one. looks really nice. Uh, I may get this one too. I'm, I need to get some of these. I really do. They, I've heard some really good things about them. So there you go. KFC is giving us two new Junkions and giving us Psykill as well. Man, that's freaking awesome. And we got some new first uh, color tailor shots from uh, Fans Hobby. This is MB-19 Double Agent. This is their double dealer. I know we've seen these quite a few times, so hopefully it'll be coming out pretty soon. Uh, so there you go. First color test shots from uh, Fans Hobby, and this is their double dealer. Looks pretty good. I'm, I'm excited for him. And then we got a new product from uh, Demon Souls MHZ Toys. Uh, I think, didn't they knock off Cyclonus from uh, Fans Toys? I can't remember who knocks off who now anymore, but uh, this is T-Rex Dinosaur Robot. As you can tell, it is Grimlock. So we're getting a new Grimlock. I guess it's MP scale. We'll see. But uh, I think I, I think they knocked off uh, Cyclonus for sure. I don't, but anyways, there you go. Demon Souls MHZ Toys. This is their Dinosaur's Robot. And this is a, a new Grimlock or a knockoff of Grimlock, I guess. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. Let's move on to officials. And it looks like we might have a crossover coming. So uh, pre-order for Takara Tomy uh, looks like came up on August 2nd. It looks like we're getting a Canon X Transformer. So Optimus Prime as a camera. So uh, you can do, a, you know, it's priced at SGD $235. Uh, it needs a deposit of $50. Uh, closing date will be September 2nd uh, or once the orders are fulfilled. Uh, estimated to be around uh, arrival around February 2023. Uh, this is a complete action toy design for collectors. Optimus Prime upgraded his transformation abilities over the years, and now he is an EOS R5 Canon camera. It is a non-working camera, which kind of sucks, but it'd be pretty cool if they figure out how to make a working camera transform. Uh, but looks pretty cool. Like we get a little teaser. This is from Fat Toys Corner. So we get the uh, alt mode, which is a camera, and we get the uh, bot mode, which you can see uh, Optimus Prime has a big old belly. Looks like Energon Optimus Prime. So there you go. We're getting another crossover from, uh, you know, from Canon and uh, Opt or Transformers. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Then we got some in hand images of uh, Transformers Studio Series Core Class Wheelie. The uh, toy seems to be out in ta uh, Taiwan right now, and we have some clear shots at the packaging and both modes of this new mold of the little Autobot. As we can see from the images, he's pretty articulated and fun. As an extra bonus, uh, looks like it, he also comes with uh, his little you know slingshot, so that's pretty cool. So very nice. I like it. I think it looks a lot better than the Titan Returns and definitely the one we got with uh, Grimlock. So definitely uh, going to pick this one up. So there you go. In-hand images of Studio Series Core Class Wheelie. And I know a lot of people already know by now that uh, Transformer Legacy Velocitron Deluxes and also uh, Voyagers have been found at Walmart. Uh, so yeah, you got Blur, Burnout, Clampdown, Road Rocket, and Cosmos, which I know everybody's looking for Cosmos because there's only one per case. So a lot of people, uh, you know, PPR, you know, P Patriot Prime and Kato already put their review up. So I'm really excited to try to find these. I went to Walmart, two Walmarts yesterday and did not find anything. They got the pegs for them, but uh, they just haven't put them out yet. So definitely looking for a Cosmos. So there you go. Uh, the new Velocitron has found at Walmart. Happy honey. And we got another rumor. Ooh, I love some rumors. So it looks like uh, Transformers Masterpiece movie Revenge of the Fallen Starscream might be in the works. Ooh, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, no official you know, claims or anything like that, but looks like we might be getting a new uh, Starscream from the uh, Bayverse. 
So basically, they're just going to take the you know other Star Scream and just going to repaint it, and give him some uh, you know nice tattoos and stuff like he had in Revenge of the Fallen. So yeah, I definitely get it because I love Star Scream. So there you go. Uh, rumors, uh, maybe a Revenge of the Fallen Star Scream is in works. All right. And it looks like we got some new prototype images from uh, ACG HK 2022. I think this was last weekend. Uh, this is a Transformer Masterpiece MPG-02 Trainbot uh, Getsui. So yeah, it looks pretty. I love the train mode, man. It looks so good. The bot modes, uh, you know, like on the first one, I'm just not really impressed with the, the bot modes. But I love the train mode, so I may be in on for that. So there you go. This is a new prototype image from uh, the train bots uh, Getsui. And yeah, all right, go train. And for all you Beast Wars fans, it looks like the uh, vintage reissue Pterosaur was found in retail. It looks like it was found in Hanover, Pennsylvania. So you've been waiting on this. Uh, yeah, good luck to happy hunting for this guy. So yeah, Beast Wars vintage reissue Pterosaur found at retail. All right. And we got some new rescue bots. I didn't know they were still around, but that's pretty cool. Classic Hero Team Megatron. So uh, sighting for out for left field is uh, we found this guy. And it looks like he was found in Oklahoma in a Walmart. So if you are a big uh, Rescue Bots fan and want some Megatron, hey, good hu uh, happy hunting and good luck finding him. So Classic Hero Team Rescue Bots Megatron was found at retail. And we got some new packaging images from uh, Yolo Park Bumblebee Movie Earth Mode Optimus Prime Playmo. Uh, this is a model kit. Uh, this was shown off at the ACG HK uh, 2022 as well. So it looks like a nice shot uh, showing Optimus Prime kneeling in front. Uh, so we can also spot the top of seems to be a big box for this uh, 30 centimeter tall non transform Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty cool. So uh, definitely, uh, if you like model kits, these look really good. So there you go, Yellow Park Bumblebee movie Earth Prime Earth Mode Optimus Prime packaging. Then we got some new in hand in package image of Transformers Legacy Deluxe Minerva. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, first look at the, uh, the Legacy Deluxe Minerva in her packaging. The figure is a white and red redeco of the Legacy Alita 1 mold with a new head inspired by Minerva from the G1 Japanese Master Force cartoon. Uh, also with the new siren lights for the vehicle mode roof. Uh, so according to uh, this, it's supposed to be a uh, Walgreens exclusive, but she's been found in Walmart. So kind of weird. I don't know. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find her because uh, Walgreens don't really stock their uh, stuff up really well. So there you go. In, in, in package image of Transformers Legacy Deluxe Minerva. Happy hunting. And more new stuff for uh, Beast Wars. We got Transformer Vintage Beast Wars Retract Reissue in image in hand images. So we have in package images as well as several images in robot and beast mode. We can spot some differences compared to the original Retracts release. First, the antenna uh, are installed backwards so they can arch along with this shell. Second, the middle legs of his pill bug mold are missing. To our surprise, this detail was already shown in the first stock images. So pretty cool. So if you're looking forward to a retract, which I already have the original, I'm good. Uh, this is uh, the new in-hand in images of the Beast Wars Retracts reissue. And more in-hand images of Studio Series Core Class Ratchet. Uh, the figure was recently found in Taiwan, also with, like we saw Wheelie. And we finally have a clear look at the great representation of G1 Ratchet for a small core class. Uh, the figure comes with a mini background of an Autobot ship command bridge, so where he died. <laughs> that's where they showed that in the background. So that's uh, kind of, uh, you know, evil. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. So uh, yeah, it looks really good. Ratchet features a great range of posability for his size and very clever and interesting transformation for a solid fan mode. Ratchet comes with two small guns that can be attached to the sides of his alt mode. Uh, we're sure many fans will be pleased with this little figure. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Looks pretty cool. So it's awesome they gave him the uh, the background of the death scene. So there you go, Ratchet core class in hand images. And it looks like we got by maybe a possible first look at Legacy Point Blank and Dead End alt modes. Uh, so these are very small pics which seem to be Takara Tomy's promotional, uh, promotional images. Uh, while these figures were officially revealed during Hasbro's Transformer panel at San Diego Comic Con, only robot modes were shown. We have a first look at Legacy Blanker, which is point blank, futuristic car mode with his target master, uh, Peacemaker. Then Dead End alt mode seems very faithful to the classic G1 car mode. So, you know, looks pretty cool. I'm definitely in for both of them because I love, love the uh, uh, Stunticon so far. So there you go. Possible first look at Legacy Point Blank and Dead End Alt Mode. Then we got some new stock images of Micro Machines Transformers G1 Optimus Prime Hauler playset 
Amazon listing. Uh, so a few weeks ago, we reported that unexpected release of the Micro Machines Optimus Prime uh, playset, which was found in the Philippines. Uh, this was a surprise considering the new Micro Machines Transformer line seemed to be focused in Transformers live action movie characters. So now, now we finally have a proper Amazon listing for the new G1 listing for Optimus Prime. Uh, looks pretty cool. Open up, you know, looks like a fortified Autobot garage and comes with exclusive Micro Machines G1 tracks. So pretty cool. It looks like it's going to be uh, $19.99, which is not too terrible. So there you go. Uh, head on to Amazon and get you some uh, Micro Machine love. All right, G1 Optimus Prime. All right, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this, man. So we got some leak. Uh, new Legacy Year 2 found listings found on Walmart system. And man, looks sounds pretty cool. So some of them we already know about, but it uh, looks like we're getting a Core Class Nemesis Prime, which is going to be a re you know repaint of Optimus Prime. We're getting Core Class Grimlock, which we already heard about that. Uh, we're getting Bomb Burst, which is Bomb Burst PR, which I'm guessing previous release. So it's a Core Energon Monster Package refresh. We're getting Swoop. Everybody knew about that. Uh, we're getting another Star Scream. I guess it's just a re you know a reissue of that one. Uh, Core Class Scar. So that's cool. Core Class Snarl. Uh, Deluxe Shrapnel, which is awesome. We're getting all the Insecticons. I'm excited for that. Deluxe Prowl, which is pretty cool. Uh, Deluxe Crosscut is going to be, you know, the uh, re reissue of uh, uh, Skids, uh, or you know, a, a re not a reissue, but I'm sorry, a retooling of Skids. Uh, then we got Junkie on Two, which is a Deluxe. Guys, I guess it's going to be a new mold because Retguard and the other one was a Voyager. Uh, we're getting a Voyager Nemesis Leo. That's pretty cool. We're getting a Voyager Ramjet. So I guess we're reissuing the Earthrise Ramjet. And uh, everybody's going to have a chance to get that one. So hopefully they'll do the Dirge as well. And then we're getting a Voyager Junkion, which is another Junkion, uh, which I hope is a retooling. And then we're getting Voyager Bludgeon. That's awesome. Can't wait for that one. I can't wait to see all these. So there you go. We're getting some new listings for Legacy Year 2. And man, I cannot wait to get in my collection. All right. So last thing we're going to talk about, Studio Series A6 Voyager Ironhide Alt Mode in head images. So we got a teaser of the bot mode as well, which I'll show right here. Uh, and everybody thought it looked like Core Class at first, but I was like, no, that's Voyager. And so I'm excited. So we're getting A6 Voyager Ironhide. So the images let us see Ironhide's classic van mode from the angles and undercarriage. As we see, the mode is pretty compact and solid with no visible robot parts uh, being shown. As it was rumored, it seems it doesn't use any parts for me. We also have some size comparisons next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime as well. So it can't fit in the trailer, which that's fine. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm excited for this. And it's not a retool of the uh, Siege and Earthrise one as well. Uh, everybody thought it might be a you know a retooling of Earthrise, so, but you can't see the feet hanging out in the back, so that's good. So very nice. I'm excited for this. I love the Studio Series 86 movie stuff, so looking forward to this one. So Voyager Ironhide alt mode, and it looks really good. I'm excited to get it in my collection. Come on now. And as right as I was closing this out, it looks like we got some new in -hand images of Studio Series Voyager Ironhide in robot mode. Uh, there he is next to Optimus Prime. I think that's a good scale. Pretty good. I love that it can lay down and look up. That is awesome. I love it. I like the robot mode. It looks really good. I'm excited for this guy. Uh, so it looks like, you know, no parts forming, like I said. Uh, the van panels are compressed in legs and feet. Iron High features a very nice articulation range, which I like that. That's pretty cool. So there you go. Very nicely done. I'm excited for this. Hopefully it'll be coming out pretty soon. Uh, we got some new in -hand images of Studio Series A6 Voyager Ironhide in robot mode as well. Freaking A, man. Let's go. Well, all right, folks. That's all we have for this week for news. And man, as always, I'm excited, man. I want that core class wheelie. I'm excited for him. I'm really definitely excited for uh, Ironhide. He looks really good. New Age, once again, just bring out the, you know, all the great stuff. I'm excited for those. So yeah, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Is anybody excited for anything? I hope you are. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.